Like, I might uh, go today because I'm hungover. Yeah. I'm hungover, just, you know, sleep hungover. Yeah. We got like, I did an edible the other night that was so fucking strong that my wife woke me up at 20 to 2 on the couch. And I thought she goes, You had a look on your face like I was a demon. <laughs> I go, Bro, I was, I passed out and was dreaming about food. You were? Like when she woke me up, I was like, oh my God, thank God you woke me up. I was having a dream about shit. She went in the kitchen and filled up a water bottle at 20 to 2. And I walked straight to the kitchen, opened up the fucking cabinet, and there was a half a jar of Pringles. I just started Pringling it. I just ate the fucking Pringles. Then I made a ham and cheese sandwich. I ate that, and then I went right to bed. I was so fucking high. Like the next morning, I woke up, and I saw the American cheese because when they slice yeah, at the yeah. butcher, he puts paper in it. Uh -huh. And I saw it. I go, who ate the cheese last? I go, oh, my God. I ate the fucking cheese last night. How strong was the edible? 100 milligrams. <laughs> it's stronger than that. Oh, my God. I took Dude. two of them to New York <laughs> to shoot this movie. And I took one of them one night when I had insomnia. Slept like a baby. And then the other night I took on the flight back. You took the 100 milligram on the flight back? On the flight back. And I started freaking out that the plane was going to go down. <laughs> and then they pulled the plane over to the side because of the rain in the Midwest. And they kept saying, if we don't leave in 30 seconds, in 30 minutes, we're probably going to have to cancel a flight till tomorrow morning. I'm high as a fuck. And I'm thinking, maybe I took the wrong plane. I switched. And maybe because I was supposed to leave Saturday. Morning. You're out of your mind at this point. <clears throat> out of my mind. I'm an hour in with earphones. The plane was at the gate for half hour and they made the edible go up. And then we drove around all over fucking New York City with Kennedy Airport. We were cutting off Ubers. I'm like, where the fuck is this plane going? And I, I saw little Arabs pulling over to the side. Fuck you. I'm trying to drive Uber X. <laughs> we're in that fucking plane after a half hour. I'm thinking we're in the air. This is how high I am, Tom Segura. Jesus, man. Now, Direct TV, you know, Mint. Uh, yeah. JetBlue has yeah. the Direct TV. Yeah. So I'm not watching the TV. I'm focused on the radio, and I'm thinking we're in the air. And I open up, and I see 20 other planes. I go, where the fuck are we? <laughs> we have been driving for an hour. We Seriously? Have, I don't know where he went around Kennedy Airport. <laughs> we're flying around for fucking an hour. And I'm like, where the fuck is this pilot going? I thought we were in the air already. I swear <laughs> to my hilarious. daughter's grave. I was so high, I thought we were in the fucking I took yeah. I took 20 milligrams on my last flight to New York, and that was too fucking much for me. Really? 20 yeah. milligrams will do something to you? For do something. Yeah. I took 50 on the flight there. No, I man. I was fucked up. I was really? fucked up, dude. Those little, little stars, those green stars that I bought, the 10 milligrams a piece. Yeah. I took, because I bought those too. I yeah. Could, you control your high. Yeah. The capsules, triply. Thank God. 10-4 podcast, give him a shout out. My man, Sam Triple. I called him Sunday. Fighting crime. And I go, Triple, I need a, I need another bottle of those things. He showed up with a case. A case. Thank good. <sighs> Sammy, uh, yeah, he gets down. So fucking, now we're on, the, 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 the guy goes, all flights going south are available to take off, but all, all flights going westbound are stuck we're on hold until oh. they open up and now this edible's getting stronger and stronger and now i'm thinking to myself i was really supposed to leave at 5 33 in the morning and get to la at 8 30. that was my original flight but me being the fucking pig that i am you know, i gotta get out of here early i want to i want to be home in the daytime for her tomorrow yeah instead of getting home tired let me go home i'm on that fucking plane i'm so going i'm like you know when you i was okay this is how people die this is how people die, and this is how people lose bets. All week, you wanted the Mets. At the last minute, you call the Yankees, mm -hmm. and you lose. The Mets were going to win. That was your first fucking option. Why did you switch? Yeah. So I started thinking that way. And I'm like, holy fuck, this plane's going to go down. And I started thinking about my daughter, Lee, my family, my friends. I was that high. Damn. And I'm like, how can I get off this plane? And all of a sudden, he goes, all right, we've been approved. And I'm like, god damn it. And as the plane was taking off, I go, I can't even listen. I was so high, I couldn't even hear music no more. Yeah. Like the music was get, making me panic. So I yeah. took the earphones off, and I go, I'm just going to watch TV without the sound. Yeah. So I, what a mistake. I press CNN and uh, desk, and it shows the plane went down off Guantanamo Bay. Oh, fuck. And at first, I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like, oh, fuck it. A plane went down tonight. I'm good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah. took my place. He took it, yeah, yeah. If it's 2 in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. I want you around me like I want cancer in my ball sack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come around here looking at me with your fucking white eyes.
thinking that you know I'm gonna re- I'm gonna reform. Go fuck yourself. My morning starts at five thirty a.m. Either you're there or you're square. You know what I'm saying?